Man, y'all, I'm here. When I saw that video of Imani's parents, and when I saw her dad, even though her mom was crying too, when I saw her dad break down, I started breaking down. I do not understand. It pisses me off about these sorry ass men out here want to kill a fucking woman. Why do y'all keep killing us? And then you, man, I swear, I don't want to, I just don't, I don't even want to, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to date no more. I swear I don't. I'm just so fucking tired of this shit. I'm tired of all the shit y'all giving us. Y'all will show a white woman res more respect than you would show your own fucking sister. Your own black, not even sister, but your own kind. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Just walk away. You so fucking weak. I'm not speaking on all men now. I'm speaking on... Y'all, I'm getting my grass cut, so I hope it ain't too loud. But, oh my God. All I got to say is why. Y'all men suck shit ass every goddamn thing. Y'all are so fucking weak. I'm not saying all men. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are. I'm sick of this shit. Y'all bringing us back HIV. You're giving us ST fucking Ds. You killing us. You being deadbeat men. It's like you just fucking hate women. And just like Miss Faye said, it all goes back to slavery. They taught the men how to rape us. Incest, their own sisters, mamas, family, everything. They show uh, them how to disrespect the black women. No other race is like us. And I hope one of y'all sorry motherfuckers is listening to this shit. Because y'all some bums. Y'all deadbeats. Y'all sorry. Every time I turn on the fucking news, it pisses me off. This is why I don't even watch the news. I'm, I'm just so sick of the fucking social media shit. Even though it's making us aware of what's going on. Because a lot of stuff, excuse me, needs to be out there. So people can be aware and know what's going on. Like... And stuff won't be hush-hush. That's a good thing that we do have these phones. Even though I know they record everything we're saying. Because I don't know if it's just me. If y'all notice that you can be talking about something. And when you go to tap your Google screen to research about it, it's already there. It's because these phones are tracking devices. They listen to everything. They, they listen to everything. You don't even have to. And people just go to the internet and tell everything. So it's like they don't even need to investigate nothing. Because it's right here in our phones. Like what I'm saying right now, they probably listen to what I'm saying. Well, I know for a fact they listen to what I'm saying. The government. It's so sad, man. And then the kids don't have a mother or a father. He won't shit anyway. And she knew it. That's why she was leaving them. Whatever the situation may be. I'm just so tired of this, man. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of giving my heart to a man. And it just tear me apart. And then when I get with another guy, he calls me bitter. Because it's not like I'm putting my past relationship on him. It's because I'm cautious with him and I want to question and I want to do this and I want to know. And if you want to act like you don't want to tell me, that's when the argument... This because of the men. Y'all are doing this shit to us. Y'all don't want to communicate. Y'all don't want to talk to us about shit. You just want to fucking do you. If you want to do you, just leave us the fuck alone. Just leave us the fuck alone and fuck with whoever else you want to fuck with. If you want to go to another race, goodbye. And I hate to say, this is why black women, you see most of them with white men. They men too. You know, they can do the same thing, you know. But it's like you get tired of getting dogged by your own fucking black men. They look, most of them look down on us. You know what I'm saying? They feel like, 
oh, just because she stay in the hood or just because she got Section 8 and got this and got that, that I have to, you know, be this type of chick, you know, or female. Do you know I was left from a sorry-ass black man? That's why I'm on Section 8. Do you know I didn't have nobody to help me? You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm in the situation I'm in. Do you know the traumatic events that I went through and I couldn't finish school during the time? That's why I'm doing this to go back to school. Man, y'all judge too goddamn much and don't even know the fucking problem or the issue or the root of the problem. It's like, um, I just don't, man. A majority of y'all, man, tell me something. The system hold a black man. Nah, you holding yourself down. Stop using that white that white man shit. You holding yourself down because you sorry and you don't want to fucking do shit with your goddamn life. Don't use that white man system as a fucking excuse to be fucking sorry. That's all my ex used to say, the white man, the white man, the white man. Fuck that shit, man. That's just a fucking excuse because you want to be fucking sorry. You was in the military... You went to college, and because you want to be a cop out and fuck with drugs, you know what I'm saying, get off of drugs, go in the system, it's just, I don't understand, I don't understand, and you just want to, the white man, the white man, fuck that white man shit, man, that's an excuse, you know how many people have got out of jail and just made it? So that's a fucking excuse because you just sorry. You no good. And I was called born because I don't get high. I was called born because I don't like to go out. You know what I'm saying? I did all that stuff in my 20s. I was called born because I'm just chill. You know what I'm saying? I see I done been fucked over by female friends. Man, I tell you, a lot of people know me. I know a lot of people, but I don't deal with them like that no more. You know, a lot of people I cut off because of the bullshit. I got set up in fights. You know what I'm saying? Trying to fight other people battles. And I fucked around and got jumped on. And the person I was fighting for left me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm fighting your goddamn battle and you left me up here. You know what I'm saying? I done been in situations when I let people use my car, let the money, they just talk shit about me. I remember when I had first got my Section 8, y'all, a bitch argued with me driving my motherfucking car. Argued with me. This is somebody I grew up with. I met her because my mama and her mom was friends, and you know how that go. So we grew up together, and I just wanted her to be my friend because she was older than me. But she just loved to party. She loved to hang out. She loved to mess with guys. They call them boat boys, military dudes, and just want to be a whore. You know what I'm saying? And I won't like that. I just wanted to have fun. But you know, people think you like that because of the type of company and the people you be around. I just don't understand this world, man. And we got into an argument and almost wrecked my car because she told me I was lying because I had Section 8. That's why I said people, they would be jealous of shit that ain't even worth being jealous over. And once I figured out, oh, this bitch is jealous of me, I said, I got to leave this bitch alone. And she's still the same, y'all. Still the same. Sent me a friend request on Facebook. I talked to her. I let her be on my page for a little bit. I had a meltdown one day. And I didn't tell exactly what happened. I was just kind of saying, motherfuckers get on my nerves or this, this, and that. I forgot. It was years ago. I can't remember what it was. Soon as she saw her opportunity to get in my business and talk shit and figure out, she jumped right there in my inbox and called me. I said, oh, see, she's still on that same shit. So I deleted her. I don't, I don't like that type of people around me no more, man. Used to get jealous because, let me tell y'all. The same chick I'm talking about, I'd have been caught up in some situations with her over jealousy, and she was older than me. So we were staying with this chick, and we both was working at um, Virginia Beach at the Strip, you know, 
So this how dirty she is. That's when I said I gotta get I gotta leave this bitch alone, you know. Um, I had to learn though. Everybody gotta learn. So we was working at the strip, you know, and her friend was nice enough to let us st- uh stay with her. So um we were staying with her and um she we was supposed to be, you know, paying our rent or whatever. So I you know, I'm not the type of person I'm not gonna, you know, not pay nobody and lie about it. You know, I'm going to pay my way because I want somebody to pay me if they living with me. You know, I don't, I don't want nobody trying to get over on me. So what she did was she said, yo, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. A scammer, a schemer. You know what I'm saying? That's why she in a situation she in now because you cannot do that shit to people and scam and think you're going to get over all your life and make it. You're not going to make it like that. So, um, she told me, she said, well, I'm going to tell her I ain't get paid. I lost my check. They ain't never give me my check and this, this, and that. And I just shook my head. I just shook my head. And I said, this bitch is fucking, this is the type of bitch I'm hanging with, man. You know, and she, I'm younger than her. So I'm still young and dumb, you know? So, but I know right from wrong. And I know that was wrong for what she was doing to her, her friend that, you know, the girl that let us, was nice enough to let us come live with her. So, um, when it was time to pay the rent, I paid my part. So the, 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 the late, the girl that we were staying with asked me, her and her boyfriend put me in the room and was like, I, um, she was like, um, did Monica get paid? Did such and such get paid? Yeah. I said her name, but, um, she was like, um, I was like, to be honest, I don't know. I'm not trying to get in the middle of it. You know, I paid you my portion and that's it. I don't know what happened with her check. I don't know what happened. I knew, but I didn't want to get in the middle of that shit. And mind you, the same chick I'm talking about, talking about her sister, spreading rumors about, I'm uh, talking about her sister. She got this and she got that. And, you know, um. So, yeah, I got a text message. So, um, they was like, okay, Mo, you know, they love the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't want me to leave, you know, but they wanted to get rid of her. They told me, they was like, well, I said, shit, I ain't got shit to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So the girl did her research and found out she did get her check. So, um... She confronted her and she was like, well, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. She said, I know you got your check because I checked and I called up there and I asked. You know what I'm saying? This, this, and that. So um, the girl I was staying with called her sister on that ass. And her sister, this is the sister she was speaking on, talking shit about her, you know, throughout the project or whatever. So um, we was in Chesapeake during the time. So I said, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know it was about to go down. So um, me and her in the room talking and talking. And next thing I know, her sister busts in the room like Debo. Boof. So you talking shit about me and you don't want to pay my sister her rent and all this other shit, man. She ran into my... Now, mind you, my, the girl that didn't pay the rent, Amazon, tall as a bitch. All that fucking mouth and you going to let her sister whoop your ass? You know what I'm saying? And I'm standing back just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So when the girl started getting the best of my friend, I tried to break the shit up. You know what I'm saying? I got in the middle and tried to break it up. So the boyfriend grabbed me in the chokehold and threw me on the couch. So after my friend got away, well, she want my friend, a fucking friend of me, bitch. But, um... Once she got away, she left me up there to fight her goddamn battle. So I'm on the couch and her sister jump on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting and, you know, uh, getting her and beating the shit out of her. We tussling and shit. So her sister pulled her off of me and was like, Mo, I apologize. You know how my sister is. She crazy, you know, and um, this, this, and that. So that was the end of that, you know. But... My thing is, like, it's so much hatred out here in this goddamn world. It's just fucking crazy. 
man i that's why i don't have i don't really associate with people i don't really tr i don't trust nobody man i don't even trust my family to a certain extent like certain people i don't like people shady as fuck they be smiling in your face especially females y'all some fake ass bitches man when i tell you they fake and don't and and i done gave so many people chances with that devil in the skies look as soon as i turn my my uh back the devil just come right out of them. I'm not doing that shit with nobody no more. I'm not making no new friends. I'm not making no new, uh, 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 uh taking no chances. I know y'all understand females that are not like that, men that are not like that. I know y'all understand where I'm coming from because y'all have been there just like me. People do you so bad and fuck you over so much that you don't want to fuck with them no more. You want to protect your peace. You want to protect your energy. You don't want nobody with that bad energy coming in your house. You don't want nobody in your car with that shit. You know, like, it's like, damn, I was nice to you, and this is the things I get. Like, damn. I would give anybody, anybody to know me, know me, will tell you, Mo, good people. She would give you the fucking shirt off her back. She would give you her last. If I ain't got nothing to eat, I give it to you. I just slide my fucking plate over and say, "Here." I know a coworker that was working with me was hungry, and she didn't um, she didn't have the heart to go in there and ask for anything to eat. I said, "Here, just take that shit, man." And she said, "No, nah, Mo." I said, "No, nah, just take it." You know what I'm saying? I figure something out. That's why God keep blessing me, and a lot of people see my potential and they see what I have. In me, just like that racial pro that racial profiling situation that I was going through, they knew my fucking uh, uh, capabilities and they saw what was inside of me and my potential. Everything. That's why they tried to break me and it didn't work. They tried to provoke me so I can fucking go off and be that person that they tried to make me out to be. And I outsmarted them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers in for a treat. Wait till I tell you them motherfuckers in for it. Because I got something for that ass. I got something for that ass. Leave people the fuck alone out here. Nobody is not. God sees it all. And you're going to get that shit back. And when you go and take that one-way ticket down to that fucking goddamn fire pit, baby. You ain't coming back. You was not coming back. It's a lot of people. It's some people. Man, I talk to a lot of people, y'all. Some people have been there already. Some people have been there just to visit. Just to come back and save other people. Do y'all understand this shit is real, yo? A lot of people think this shit is not real. This shit is real. You going there and you going to burn for the rest of your life. It's different fucking sections for every motherfucker that did what they did. Perjury. Stealing robbery, murderers, rapists, molesters, racist motherfuckers. That racist shit, y'all need to stop that shit too. Y'all need to stop all that shit. What are you getting out of being mean to somebody that you don't even know? Walking around with that red fucking neck, that red motherfucking face, all that shit. What is wrong with y'all? Man, I swear... That's why I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing now because that's the last motherfucker that would do that shit to me. And I don't fuck with nobody. I do not fuck with nobody. And this is the part that gets me. Because I don't fuck with nobody, man. These bitches out here jealous of the attention you get from men because they ain't getting it. I can't help that I got a cool ass personality. I can't help that. Like I said, you need to be mad at your mammy and your daddy because they was the one that made you. If you wasn't so mean and brought out the real person that's inside of you, then people will love you for who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Stop being mean. People are fucking mean. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. When I see homeless people, man, I always talk to them. I always talk to homeless people because 
they the ones are looked down the most. Uh, you know, a lot of them got mental health problems, and and that's the. You know, I'm gonna tell y'all something. They remember too. I'm gonna tell you why. I was at um. Arby's in the drive-thru getting me something to eat, right? And I used to see this homeless man walking around talking to himself all the time, you know, like just, you know, with mental health, you know, issues and, you know, problems and stuff, right? So um, he came up and knocked on my window and he kind of scared me because I didn't know what he was going to do and I rolled my window up. So, um... I kept going, you know, and I, um, I act like, you know, and I felt bad because I didn't say nothing to him, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, damn, you know, like all he wanted, you know, and I always give homeless people stuff, but it was just, so he just scared me because I used to do his approach. So I, I ignored him like he was nobody and that shit fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, which I knew he was somebody, but, uh, he ended up coming to the store on the corner where um I live. A corner, it's a corner store, you know, gas station or whatever. So like I go there all the time and get gas, whatever I need to get. So it was like God put him at that store, man. Cause he it ain't nothing wrong with him. He just got, he needs some help, mental help. You know, I mean, I guess it is something wrong with him, but he talked to me, man, and I felt so damn, like he was like, hey, how you doing? You got any change? You got this? Man, I went to my car and gave him $20. I gave, he said, I'll pump your gas for you. I'll do anything. Like, I said, no, nah. I said, I said, it's okay. I said, you want something to eat? I gave him money and I asked him that he wants something to eat. And he said, no. He said, you know what? I remember you like that, right? And I didn't think he remembered me. He said, I remember you. And I knew exactly what he was talking about when we was at Arby's. And this is way from where I, you know, I live. And I, and I, I thought about that. I said, damn, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't want him to know that I ain't know what he was going to do to me. That's why I try to act like I didn't see him. But imagine how he felt when I did that to him. You know what I'm saying? So every time I see that man, I get him some money. I don't care how much I got on me. If I don't got, if I got my debit card, I just give him a bunch of change. I saw him the other day walking. I gave him a $5 bill. He said, thank you, baby. And kept walking. It was hot too. I said, go get you something, some water or something. Cause that's all the cash I had on me. Man, just stop being mean out here, y'all. It was a this another one. It's another it's another homeless guy I be saying all the time. And he he really needs some help. Oh my gosh. He sits in front of this store every day. I haven't seen him lately, but this one day, um I was going in the store and I gave him some money. So I came back another time and he was outside talking to some men outside. He just looked like real dirty, hair messed up, shoes. You know how your shoes are run down. They lean into the side and he it was just hot and he looked dehydrated. So I told him, I said, I don't have no change on me today. You know, like that, right? I just got my debit card. You know, I just ran to the store right quick. And the guys was like, man, why you not cussing her out? You cuss everybody out to come out here, but you don't say nothing to her. He said, because I like her. She's always nice to me and smile. I said, oh, my God. And see, a lot of people, man, all they want is somebody to talk to, man. You know, people just, they just look down on people, man. I'm just so sick of that shit. I got people in my family like that, you know, some of them that, that think they on a high horse. You know what I'm saying? I don't say nothing. Even when I wanted to use them on jobs and shit like that, when I was on Section 8, they ain't want me to put them on a resume and shit like that. I remember all that shit. Now look at me. I don't have to ask them for nothing. Nothing. And they asking me for help now. 
can you do this for me? Can you, can you look out? Can you do that? You know? And I'd be like, yep, I sure can. Because that's the heart. That's the type of heart I got, yo. I'm tough, yo. I tell you, I'm a soldier. Just like I say, God give his tough, toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, the ones that can take it. You know what I'm saying? And y'all weak men out here put us through all this shit and we still strong. And y'all want to kill us because y'all are weak? Now you talking about strong. I'm strong, goddammit. Y'all some weak ass men out here killing no fucking woman because she don't want you no goddamn more. She don't want to waste her fucking time with you. And then you're going to kill her and take her away from the kids that y'all had together. Y'all some sorry ass men, yo. I swear. Oh, my God. That's all I have to say, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good one.